What did your parents do for a living? My mom is a cosmetologist, and my daddy, he, um, damn, you trying to, um, shit. I don't want to say what my daddy do. That's fine. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to say what my daddy do. But uh, when it comes to whatever your father did or... Uh, your daddy got a real job. No, he worked. Okay. Uh, when it comes to your uh, uh, parents, let's just say that, uh, did they want you to follow their footsteps or fields? Now, of course, your mother, she does cosmetology. Yeah, but so I really went in. <laughs> not that, but China. maybe she wanted you in the grooming business of some sort. Yeah, no, nah, she ain't never tried to get me to, like, do nothing like that. My daddy, like, the business they, my family do, like, I was going to do that. If I didn't rap, if I didn't play sports or anything, I'd do that. What was their reaction when you didn't go that route and you actually choose the music avenue? They, Like I said, my family supports me. Like, I, my family love me, so, like, Whatever I do, they was going to support it. Or they was going to help me to be better in it. You see what I'm saying? So when they seen I was doing rapping, if I need something, all I got to do is ask. So like. In the American society, financially, how would you describe your upbringing? Um, oh, no, I wasn't no poor kid. Like, no, I said middle class. Lower middle, middle, no. or upper middle? No, we ain't staying no, like. Poor apartments and all like that. So I say middle class. Like just. Was your household able to move up to a higher income group at some point? Yeah, or my, did it yeah, just stay mom, No, my mom is like, my mom not. My mom is like a great woman. You see what I'm saying? A great strong woman. So like, she's not gonna stay in like one place for a long time. You see what I'm saying? She's gonna elevate. So like, yeah, my mom. Yeah, she's a. So it moved past woman. middle class at some point for you. We passed middle class now. <laughs> Care to share what class now? I mean... Upper middle? I guess, rich? I guess we in the... We finna be high class. That's all I know. Now, since you were able to experience both these different income groups, what did you learn from this? What did that teach you? Um... Man, you gotta learn how to save, like... You're not even really save. You gotta learn how to invest. I ain't gonna even say save, cause saving your money, you just sitting it. It's not doing anything. But investing your money is growing. So I say, learn to invest. Like you know what I'm saying. Like my mom, like that's what she's into. Like she likes investing and stuff. Like, and I learned that from her. Like you know what I'm saying. That's how she's where she was. You know what I'm saying. Cause my mom was not always like. You know what I'm saying I'm not super rich or anything like that. So like, but I've never seen her like. Or if she did, my mom is a great, like I say, she's a strong woman. So if she did struggle, I never saw it. You see what I'm saying? But I know she's into investing and saving, like coupon and all type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So you just got to like learn what to do with your money. Money management is very important. For you, at what age do you seek earning money yourself? Do I? Re asked that? I'm sorry. At what age for you do you seek earning money yourself? Like, what age did I start wanting my own money? Yeah. Um, and getting it. I say I was about. Let's not do want, let's do get. At what, what, what age, age were you did when I start getting my own money? Yeah. Um, I say I was like 15, 16. My auntie let me um, like work with her. And she started. And then I actually got my permit. My permit and stuff, so like, I used to have somebody with license, you know what I'm saying? My friend, he had a real license. She used to let me, like, you know what I'm saying? Get her car and stuff. And my auntie always been, like, real like supportive to me, so whatever I wanted to do or if I needed help with work or anything, she always look out for me, so. And this was on, on your mother's side? No, this is my dad's sister. Now, after that, do you end up getting a job at some point? Yes, I do. Uh, I actually said my first real, like, strong job, like, where I could have made a career out of was uh, UPS. And I worked at UPS for a minute, for, like, for a minute. Like, when I bonded out, actually, I, I, worked, I started working at UPS. And the whole time I was out on bond, I was working at UPS. Give me the full job resume that you had over the years. 
Um, in okay. order, if you can. I worked with my auntie, like I said. Like, she had me, like, a summer camp instructor, something like that. And then my first real, like, career job, I worked at UPS. I really liked UPS, like, because after I was doing, like, um, loading and all that stuff, I actually moved up. You see what I'm saying? So I was actually good at UPS until I went back to jail. Then I got out. I started working. Um, I worked at, like, this little T-shirt place for a couple months. Didn't work out. I worked at a construction place. I liked the construction place. Worked at a construction place for a minute. And then I ended up going back to jail and catching a year. So. So run that by me one more time. Summer camp, UPS. Um, the t-shirt place. Like I said, you used to print logos on the, for companies. Like It wasn't like the flea market or that. It was like a real professional t-shirt place. And then construction. And construction. Then I ended up going back to jail. Now, when it came to these jobs, would they always be one job after the other, or did you ever work two jobs at the same time? No, it was one job after the other. Oh, and I forgot my last job. I did have another job, and I really liked it. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot it. I worked at JA, actually, like a JA plant. Yeah, I was a scaffolder. Like, <laughs> and I, I liked that job, too. Now, did you... Sorry, my mind is running and computing okay. so many different things, but did you say what your roles at each place was? I know scaffold, scaffolding at JA. JEA. Like JEA. Jacksonville Electric Authority, the real JEA. Okay. Uh, and uh, UPS, UPS, I was a, uh, what I used to do? I used to load packages, and then I moved up to package hand, like I used to like push the packages down, and then the t-shirt making place, we used to print the logos on the, I was a summer camp instructor, like, so. And at construction, what did you do? I'm sorry. Uh, I was a, what do they call it? A laborer. I just... Now, were any of these jobs tough? Yeah, construction and UPS, for sure. The scaffolding, it was tough, but it was all right. Like, you just had to, like, carry things and put things together. But the, uh. Construction, like you used to have to lift things, you know, do shit like that. And, uh, UPS, that hot truck loading them packages, it's crucial. Which one was the toughest? Construction. Because you got to sit out in the sun all day. UPS is hot, but it's a warehouse. You, uh, The construction, you in that sun. Were any of these jobs dangerous? Nah, not really. Best thing about any of these jobs, if any? Um, UPS, like, if I would have kept working. You know, UPS has a lot of perks and stuff like that. But besides that, ain't really just money, paycheck, I guess. You get raised, I guess. Worst thing about any of these jobs? The heat. <laughs> the hottest book. Which one paid the best? J.A. Which one paid the worst? I want to say UPS, but I don't want to say that because I worked at UPS during like peak season, so everything is like double. But I'm going to say UPS back then, yeah. Any crazy stories, anything out of the norm, other than what we've talked about thus far, with any of these jobs? I don't see people go to jail at UPS. Like people used to be stealing that shit. They used to take your ass on the walk of shame. They used to walk you around the whole warehouse. Before they take you to jail, Police, they walk you around the whole warehouse so everybody know you were stealing. <laughs> that shit used to be crazy, but that's about it. How would people get caught? Shit, they be having cameras, all type of shit. Tell, people telling on you, that type of shit. What would people actually steal? We work at UPS, shit. You can steal anything. People, packages, like people ship all type of stuff. So you will fuck around and steal anything in that bitch. You never know, so. Are you able to tell what something is? Nah, see, like, I mean, you can read the box. And if they say, oh, this from Gucci or something like that, you'll know it's from Gucci. Or like, But see, they have something called high value packages. And when you do high value packages, anyway, you got to sign for it, like yourself. You got to sign for it. So they know you the one contacted it. So you 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 steal that. You're just a dumbass. Uh, some people would get away with it, though. 
Shit, or does like everyone end up getting caught? I ain't, I ain't never steal, because I ain't shit. I ain't never been no thief, so I ain't never steal. But, like, I guess people got away with it, shit. And was that easy or hard to get away with? Um, I don't know. Like I said, I ain't never. And I ain't really work with nobody. I don't work with nobody that steals shit. Now, what about this? Would you ever work with customers at any of these shops? Damn, it's great. I don't think I never worked a job. Nah. What is your opinion on dating someone in the workplace? Dating um, a coworker, dating another employee. I don't know, man. Female is crazy. <laughs> so I don't think it's the smartest thing to especially if you're dealing with customer service, don't date nobody you work with. Because they'll take females are crazy. Remember that. You ever you ever done that? Ever dated someone in the workplace? No. Nah, no. Nah. I don't play like that. No. Nah. Was that like your policy? You would keep those. There was no policy. It's just you gotta think about the places I work. I work in UP, like UPS and like warehouse and stuff. Like so, it, I mean the girls there. Like it was some girls there, but they were kind of like shit. They were about bigger than me. Not for you. Yeah, they were not for me. How far along with music were you during any of these jobs? I mean, I had dropped for the shit up. I was dropping songs like people like. Like I say, my city, I'm popular. Before, like, any of this rap shit, I was always popular. So, like, people was always, like, you know what I'm saying? I had dropped songs, but I just wasn't really pushing it. Like, I wasn't like, oh, yeah, go listen to this. Go. I just posted and it is what it is. Would you ever get noticed at any of your jobs as a recording artist? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Was that flattering or embarrassing? No, nah, you know, I ain't gonna cap. It's kind of like, you know, especially before all this. Like, I was like, I was so up. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever play it off? No, nah, I, like I said, I love my fans. So I always be excited. Like, just like they be excited to see me, I be excited to see them. You, I love your music. I love you. Shit, thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, so. Sounds like UPS, you worked the longest out of all these jobs? Yeah, I did. What was the shortest? Uh, the t-shirt making place. I probably worked up for about a month and that. No, nah, probably about a month. Now, what ended up happening with each do- job? Did you quit or get fired? I've never gotten fired. Quit all I of them? always quit, yeah. Would they ever be quitting for music? Nah. If you could, would you ever consider owning any of the jobs you worked at? For sure. Which ones? And why? Um, UPS, boy. I own UPS. <laughs> That's a lot of money first. I'm like, obviously UPS. But um, see, the JA, when I worked at JA, it wasn't for JA. I worked for a scaffolding company that works at JA. But that's still cool, too, though. Like, that'd be nice to own. Like, besides that, though. I mean, even the t-shirt making place, like, it's always good to own businesses, so I... Any business to me is a good business as long as it's, you know what I'm saying? Making making profit, so. So j- just to be a little bit more specific, you would own that company that did the scaffolding or you would own J J J E A C J. I forgot. You're not from J. And J A is our electric company. Like they do all our electric. So sure, I would love to own J A. <laughs> Shit. But if you couldn't, and you had the ability to own the scaffolding company that they contracted, it sounds I like. I'll take that. Okay. And for time reference, it's June 2021 now. For sure. So.